Okay then, let's go to Dan's house, see what he's been up to. I think he's been making some progress on his rat rod. I really want to see it, don't you, Zachy? Ain't you really curious to see what it looks like, Zachy? Zachy, you listening to me? Zachy, I'm talking to you, buddy. You want to go over to Dan's house? Okay, that was a resounding yes. We're on our way to Dan's house. Whee! What's going on here? Somebody giving you treats, man? What, you got peanut butter? Oh, you got peanut butter. You got peanut butter? Wow. You don't get peanut butter at home, do you? Man. Pretty good stuff, ain't it? <laughs> this is great, but you can't get it off your tongue. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we went over and visited with Dead Eye Dan a while, and now we're on the way back home, and Zachy's not speaking to me because he didn't want to come home. He wanted to stay. Every time I take him over, he wants to stay. It's getting to where I'm beginning to wonder if I can keep taking him over there or not. I almost had to wrestle him in the truck this last time, and he skint my nose and growled at me and bit, bit my ear about half off. And, uh, but I got him in here anyway because Honey Baby wouldn't like it if I went over to Dead Eye Dan's and came back and bring Zachy back with me. But... I tell you, the boy's getting to be more and more trouble, you know, hauling him around like this. It wouldn't be so bad if he'd just go along peacefully, but he gets to somebody else's house. You know, just get over Dead Eye Dan's. He's got another dog to play with. He's got some acreage to run around in. Got some old rat rod, hot rod sitting around for him to play with. And, of course, Dead Eye makes it even worse by giving him treats and stuff. So, he ain't even speaking to me anymore, are you, Zachy? Yeah, see what I mean? I'm on the cold list now. <laughs>